Hey everybody, welcome to Dabbles Gaming. My name is Dabbles, because that's what I do. Today is St. Patrick's Day, so I figured I would play some fairy tale type games, and what better fairy tales than Grimm's Fairy Tales? This game is also on the uh, Green Light project for Steam, so that's even better. Green, St. Patty's Day, fairy tales. Uh, I don't know anything about this game. I found it on Green Light, uh, but it's by American McGee's, or not by American McGee, but sort of that American McGee presents Grim thing. And uh, from what I could tell, it's about Grim, who's pissed off that all of his fairy tales have become so bubblegummy, and he's going to change them all back into the dark things they used to be. Now, this is the first uh, episode. It's done doing a uh, weekly episodic series, and the first one is free on Steam, so feel free to go check it out. Now let's see here. Scene selects. Oh, see, we only have the one. Oop. Didn't check anything else. A post adolescent there we boy go. who doesn't know what fear is may be presumed uninformed of other basic emotions. He may be, in short, a dunce and not worth our notice. But here's an account of such ignorance that makes the boy out to be interesting and nearly clever, if lazy. Father, I've heard some talk of fear. Fear of God, of disease, and of death. What fear is of the this? dark. A schoolmate said he was afraid of girls. What is this fear? The smithy is so tranquil and secure, I don't know myself. You'll have to leave home to learn what fear is. Some criminals are being hung at the gallows. You might learn about fear from them. We can't be surprised at the boy's loopy innocence, as the father seems less than a bright light. It's so unfair. Sure we roughed up a priest who deserved it, insulted some nuns, banged a few heads for fun, but we never stole the <laughs> stupid bell. It's worthless. We're not morons, are we? So you were unjustly convicted of theft? Is that fear? No, that's wrong. Now we'll die for something we didn't Are do. Are you afraid of dying? Don't know yet. Being half dead isn't half bad. The boy gets no help from these mopes. He might as well have interviewed drying laundry. The boy stops by a schoolyard where he helps solve the crime. Look, here's the bell. It wasn't stolen after all. Those men were innocent. Never! They were certainly guilty of something and have met their just reward. As for the bell, it was purloined from my office and concealed in a sandbox to be retrieved at a later date with the intention of removing it from school premises for illicit purposes or profit or both. The malefactor must be punished. What is this? A mischievous, evil, unredeemable, dirty-minded pupil like you. That's who. And as I'm certain you won't confess, all students will share the blame. Get in line for a whipping. That's not fair. Besides, it's clear who touched the bell last. Him. That man is an adult. A teacher. You lying little savage. Get in line for a whipping. Look, the brass bell is tarnished and the green stuff has rubbed off on the teacher's hands. I confess, I always wanted a big brass bell of my very own to love and protect and fondle. I don't know why, I'm sorry. So the search continues. His ignorance is unimproved. Can no one and nothing teach this boy what fear is? He takes a peculiar job with the local royal who can spend the entire night among these dreadful, ugly ghouls and ghosts. They will leave my castle and family forever. Many others have tried and failed, fearing for their lives. Stay the course, and you can marry my daughter. Will I learn what fear is? Guaranteed. Oh no, King. Even oh, you boy. and your majestic wisdom can air. Look at this. I Look at the ghost. Nothing frightens the boy. boy. Or not so healing. Yeah. Ah, uh, another happy wedding. I like the puppet look on this. 
Now I think I know what fear is. A deafening sudden noise is shocking, certainly. And when one evacuates one's bowels on being shocked, he may mistake the cause as a fear. So the boy, to my mind, never did learn what fear was. Title's kind of a misnomer. But it has a more sensible outcome than the brother's tale, where the lad supposedly learns about fear by learning to shudder. His wife dumps cold water down his pants while he's sleeping. Where's the fun in that? Want to learn more about real fear? Uh -oh. When a father, thick as a brick, sends his son away to learn about fear, we're right to be skeptical. What can he know about fear and where to find it? True, there's nothing There's scary. a lot of exposition to this. Looks like a child's playpen. Let's fix that, shall we? Yes. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, uh... Make it smelly. <laughs> okay. Let's move. Uh, tutorial episodes. Okay, so if you stand still, you pee. You go, tinkle, 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 tinkle. Uh, move around, obviously, with the... Moving around makes stuff dirty. The people here will clean things, so you gotta cover them with your grime. And enough of it turns them dirty too. But I do like how they sort of give you the fairy tale first. And then you sort of change it. Come on. Is that not enough? Alright, well. There we go. Yeah, you can see on the top, there's the, uh... Okay. Showing showing some mechanics here, Mr. Grimm. Alright, if you stand still, you pee. It tinkles all over stuff. And if you push space, you jump to where the, that is. Um, here, double jump. is a butt stomp. There we go. Okay. We're probably gonna get our next... As you can see, as you go, things turn, turn nastier. This is pretty cool, though. Or what's the next thing, Grim? Make it gross. Okay, so I'm guessing he means on the top. There it is. Yeah. So we're at smelly right now. We got to go to stinky and gross. <laughs> now, as you can see, these guys keep cleaning stuff, so you gotta sort of knock them out. You sure, you're supposed to be able to turn these people evil as well, too. There we go. Yeah. See, turn the people evil. And when the people are evil, they won't clean this up, so... Whew! Getting a racket around here. Is there a chicken somewhere? Yeah. There we go. What? I didn't butt stomp it. There we go. Make it nasty. I have to get the gnat. Oh, jeez. Alright. Let's get back here. What the? Ugh, oh, that's stupid. It's quite a loud game, and I actually have the sound on this thing turned way, way down. That's the thing. Yeah, I have the sound turned way down, and this is... Still really loud. Almost nasty. What do we have left? 
We have the other side. Gotcha. Stop it. Yeah, so it is. Boom. Apple trouble scream and burn. <laughs> Pyrophobia is fear of fire. Who's got it? Yeah. Ah, now it gets platformy. All right. I'm gonna turn everything nasty. Whole city. This ain't so bad. It's a little platformy. The controls are pretty good. The art style's neat. Kind of that that puppety feel. Use the you can jump normal or you can just aim it. Boom. Boom. What? No. Come on. What stomp? What stomp? There we go. Whoa. Holy crap. What the heck? Jesus. So we got Darkness, New Record, One Star, Secrets Collected, None. I know there's secrets. New Record Time, Objects Converted, Sweet. So, I don't know what to think about that. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's got me all flustered. That was crazy. That was actually a pretty cool game. Uh, I'm going to keep doing this. This is just a quick one for St. Patty's Day. Uh, I'm going to be making a couple more episodes of this. I'll probably finish out uh, episode one of Grimm's Fairy Tales. The uh, boy learns what fear is. There are eight more out right now. And according to the page, they're coming out weekly. Up to 23. So it'll be about, geez, six, almost six months worth of, uh, of episodes. Which is pretty cool. It's supposed to take about a half an hour to play through all the way. So uh, I'll be making more of these. Like I said, I'm going to finish this one out. If you guys like it, then uh, let me know. Rate that stuff down below. And I'll see you next time. As always, I've been Dabbles. You guys have been awesome. awesome. I can't even talk after that. You guys have been awesome. I'll see you next time.